first go up to where it says databases, right mouse click and select restore database. That will bring up this window. You're going to select device and then use the ellipsis to go browse to wherever it is that you have your backup file. In my case, I put it in the C colon temp directory and then select the backup file, which does have to be named .bak. I think .tm works, but .bak is safe. And at this point now, we're going to take it into a destination database and change the name to the database name that we want to restore as. So I'm just adding underscore two to the existing database name. Then go to files and in files, uh, I clicked here, but that's probably the hardest, longest way to get there. Uh, but you can drill through to the directory that you want by going through that method. Uh, or just take and expand out the window. And then expand out the column. And now you can go, and the first thing you want to do is change the database file name and log name. Uh, generally, I name it exactly the same as the database, so I just am adding the underscore 2 to both of the existing names. And that way, if you put the files in the same directory as the existing database, there'll be no collisions. Then I'm going to change this whole thing and just put this database right into C colon temp. And again, you would change it to be whatever appropriate for your server. Main thing being, make sure you're going to a drive that has sufficient space. And going to do the same thing here with a log file. Just go in and I'm going to replace that long path with C colon temp. And obviously backslash and then the file name. And then options, I like to be a little paranoid and click this overwrite option with replace. Uh, not really necessary, but if uh, you were restoring over a database, that would do the job. And always make sure you have restore with the recovery, which is the default. Hit OK. And your restore is done. And now if we go and look, you can see, let me collapse this original A to Z. You can see we have A to Z and the new A to Z2 database that we just created from the backup.